Hey kids, it's good to be back with you today for one of my magical lessons. I'm Pastor John, and today we will be talking about how God helps us in the midst of trials and difficulties. One of my favorite stories in the Bible is the story of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The story is found in the Old Testament in the book of Daniel, chapter 3, verses 13 through 18. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were Jewish captives who worshipped God. Nebuchadnezzar was a Babylonian king who was impressed by his own power, and he thought he was greater than God. In fact, he thought he was a god. In fact, Nebuchadnezzar had made a huge golden statue of himself, and what he wanted was all the people of Babylon to fall down and worship it. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refused to worship anyone but God. Now let me begin reading with verse 13 of the scripture from Daniel. Furious with rage, Nebuchadnezzar summoned Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego so that they were brought before the king. And Nebuchadnezzar said to them, Is it true, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you do not serve my gods or worship the image of gold that I have set up? Now, when you hear the music of the horn, the flute, the zither, the lyre, the harp, and the, paw, and the pipe, just fall down right here and worship the image I have made, and all will be very good. But if you do not worship it, you will immediately be thrown into a blazing furnace of fire then what God will be able to rescue you from my hand? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego didn't hesitate for a moment. They simply replied to the king, King Nebuchadnezzar, we don't need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If we are thrown into the fiery furnace, the God we serve is able to defend us from your majesty's hand. But even if he does not, we want you to know, your majesty, that we will not serve your gods nor worship the image of gold that you have set up. Let me illustrate what's going to happen here a bit this morning. I need a volunteer. Any volunteers over there? Julie, thank you for volunteering. I appreciate that you came and helped us today. And uh, um, what I'm going to need is you to make a signature here in a moment. But we're, if, if you just face out towards the camera here like that, uh, we're glad to have you with us. Now be assured, I'm not going to throw you into a fiery furnace. That's not a part of what's going to go on today. Um, but I do have a picture of a fiery furnace right there. You can see that fiery furnace and all the stone around it to keep it going. And um, in fact, the king was so mad that he heated up that fiery furnace seven times hotter than normal. Whew. You might want to step back a moment. Uh, in fact, the guards who are throwing Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego into the fiery furnace, they get caught up in the flames and psh, they're gone. So let me do a little drawing here. I'm going to draw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego here inside the fiery furnace because they've been tossed in, okay? And I'm just going to Darken this up for us a little bit. And uh, as you can see, I'm not an artist. 
Well, let's call that Meshach. Here's Shadrach. And there's Abednego. Okay, what I'd like you to do is just print your name right here underneath there just to say that, that you witnessed that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego have been thrown into the fiery furnace. And that's where we're at. Because what, what I'm really asking you to do is bear witness to the miracle that God makes happen here uh, for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You heard how Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego said, we ain't worshiping any other gods. We're only going to worship the God of Israel. And I'm going to just put that right there and uh, going to put this, I think that furnace is pretty much in a uh, cylinder. So you want to look through this cylinder there. You see the king, Nebuchadnezzar, looked into uh, the furnace and, and he saw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego inside the furnace. But he saw a fourth man in there. Do you see a fourth person in there walking around? unharmed by the flames. And Nebuchadnezzar said, the fourth looks like the Son of God. Well, would you look at that? There's Julie. There's Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And Jesus in the fire. You can keep that as a souvenir. Nebuchadnezzar called for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego to come out of the furnace. And when they did, they were unharmed. Not even the smell of smoke was on them. You smell any smoke on that paper? No? Okay. Then Nebuchadnezzar said, Praise be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has rescued his servant. In that uh, you see the, this picture of the Son of God that joined them in the fur furnace. God watches over us when we honor His name alone and proclaim Him Lord over all. God bless you today.